this self-proclaimed drugstore queen has been shopping the Sephora VIB sale for about seven years now, and I want to share with you what I think is the best of what I've gotten through the years. Hi friends, I hope everyone is doing well. We're going to be going over some suggestions for the Sephora VIB sale. But in putting this video together, I was trying to think about what I feel like are really good values and then I wanna be able to pass that on to you. Because shopping the Sephora VIB sale for me means that I get to get things that I normally wouldn't look at before because they were just out of my price range. And I'm really excited because for the first time, I've been on YouTube for five years, and for the first time, Sephora has reached out to me and asked me if I could do a dedicated video on this and partner up with them. And I said, absolutely. So this is an affiliate video, meaning that if you buy through my links today, you're going to be helping my channel out. And I do get a kickback from that. And so I do thank you so much for anything that you do purchase through the link. But if there are other ways that you'd rather purchase, don't miss out on the sale for sure. So I'm gonna share with you what I love from the Sephora VIB sales that I've purchased in the past. First of all, the Sephora Line Up Makeup Tape. This is from the Sephora collection. I love this stuff. I use it to make this crisp line right here with my eyeshadow. It just really helps to make my eye look lifted as I have aged. It really has helped guide me and keep that shadow in place. So if you've looked at any of my past tutorials, you'll know that I use this a lot. The next thing that I want to talk about quickly is the Sephora Gel Rouge Liners. So I do have six of these and I have swatched them all for you. I will tell you that this formula is extremely creamy. So if you have lips that have um, ridges in them or the vertical lines in them, it goes on very, very smoothly. And it is what I have on today. So let me go through these. The first one is called Bellflower. This is kind of a muted mauve. I absolutely love that one. The second one is called Sink or Suede. This is a very nude, very neutral nude color that goes with just about any lip liner and I actually can really outline my lips quite a bit with this a little bit bigger because it is so close to my own color just a little bit deeper and then the next one is called this one is called rosewood and that's that one right there so that, that's kind of a little bit of a warm brownish color with a little bit of pink in it the next one is the one that I have on and it is wild at heart that's the one that I've used today to line my lips and then the next one after that is called rum raisin almost a deepened rose color and then the last one is called hot sauce and it is just kind of a real pretty um kind of a red brown color so i love these they're beautiful they're creamy and you would think that with, the, with them being more of like almost along the lines of a lipstick formula that they wouldn't last long but be, i guess it's because of their creaminess that they do last a long time and they don't bleed on me so i really love these a lot another thing that i absolutely love and i suggest almost in every sephora vib sale are the highliners from Marc Jacob. And I usually just pick one of these up. But again, I'm a penny pincher and these are kind of expensive. But I love these for their longevity, how easy they are to blend out in the beginning and then you have that stay put formula. These are great in the waterline as well. I just really love these all around. Um, I'm going to show you several of them. This one is called Blacker, and that one is just a very, a very matte black one. I love that one. The next one is a violet color, and this one is called Plumage and obviously because it's purple i love that one and then the next one is called wavelength it's a royal blue deepened royal blue i think it's so beautiful the next one is a medium brown called rococo let me tell you why i love these one of the things is that it is a gel formula like the lip liners were but what i love about them is that they this cap stays on super tight so i'm like pulling it, trying to get it off. But the nice thing about it is that helps them never to dry out. And I've had several of these for a really long time. This one is Jazzberry, and this one is a duochrome one. So it has an undertone of a brown, but it also has a little bit of that mauve on top. And it's what I have 
on to line my bottom lashes today. I love this color. This is my second or third one of those. And then the last one I don't know the name of because it is my latest purchase from this line. It is called Blew Me Away. I love that light, light blue. I put that in my waterline at times just to brighten up but have a little bit of a color in there and I think it's so pretty. So those are some that I recommend every sale that I love. And then the last thing that I recommend in every sale that I love is the Sephora Outrageous Plump um, Lip Gloss. This one is called Starstruck Pink and I absolutely love it. It's what I have on over that lip liner today. I filled in my lips with that whole thing and then I put this on over top of it and it is the most beautiful reflect of pink in there and they have expanded this line recently and they have a bunch of these and I love them. It has that cooling effect like the Buxom glosses do. It isn't quite as strong as the Buxom's are and this doesn't have an extra fragrance like the Buxom's kind of smell like vanilla. This one doesn't have an extra fragrance in there so I do like that. Now another thing thing that I always talk about and this one is a brand new one to me because I hit pan and used my whole last one out. This is the prettiest contour shade I have found in a very long time and this is again from the Sephora collection and this is one of their single blush contour um, colors. This one is in second chance. This is kind of hard to find because it sells out so often. Look how muddy that looks on my finger. It is muddy. There's Smucker's butt. <laughs> And it is a very muddy color. It just is a color that makes those shadows perfect for contouring. So if you wear something when you contour that has more of a golden tone to it, it's not going to recede on your face. And that's really the object of showing a contour is to try and cut out your, your jawline, your jowls. I have a little bit of loose skin right here that I always try to carve out these jowls with a pretty contour. And this one is perfect. So but this is a beautiful one to do your contour with. Now, I want to also mention while we're sitting here on contour, the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzers. This one is in amber and this is not a bronzer color. Again, look how muddy that looks. I'm wearing this today. I actually, look at the two together. They're so close. They're just, uh, this one's a little bit lighter, but when that dries down, it's gonna be a little bit darker. So I love this. I love it on my aging skin. I love how easy it is to blend that out. But this one, if you're looking again for something that is a true contour, this is a beautiful color. And if you love cream products, it is a beautiful cream product because it stays on your skin all day long. But this one, if you are somebody that is into creams, you know that sometimes creams, they can get a little bit patchy, but this one doesn't, it blends like a dream. So I really love that one. Last year, I got the duo of the minis of the Fenty. This is the Gloss Bomb, and then this is her Glass Bomb glass bomb, glass bomb. This one is the highlight that came with it. So I got the duo. This is fussy. And this one is called Sandcastle. Now Sandcastle is a gorgeous color across my lids. I actually have not worn this one that much across my cheeks because it's just a little bit too dark. Although it looks awfully beautiful right there. It's just reflecting that light. So pretty. And then fussy is one that everybody talks about. They do have a mini this year. I think though that the they have fussy in there, but they also have the other one that is the brighter color or the lighter color. I think it's a diamond color. So it's kind of almost a white color. So you can get this set, this duo again this year. This one again is from last year, but I wanted to tell you about it because I would never go through a highlight that much, even, you know, even if I was using it every day. But this is a gorgeous highlight because it doesn't have those little glitter particles in it at all. It's just a reflect or a glow. So I really like that. The formula of her gloss bombs are absolutely gorgeous. They have a beautiful scent to them. Just, just kind of a little vanilla fruity scent to them. This does come in a four pack this year of limited edition colors that she has. And then you can always go in and get the full size one. So there's the full size one and the mini. And like I said, there is a four pack of the minis that come separate. And then there is this duo that will come um, separate as well. And I'll make sure I link all of those down below for you. This is all he, he is always just up to something. So I know that when he comes to see me that something has been up. And uh, yeah, he wants a little cuddle because he knows that whatever he's done, he's going to get in trouble for. So say hi, Ollie. Say hi, Ollie. 
He's in every video anymore, you guys. He's four months old now, and I cannot believe how big he is. He's just a big boy. But this is the most cuddly little dog I have ever had. And I've had dachshunds before, but he is a cuddle bug. He loves people. He can't get into bed without giving everybody a kiss that's there. And he's just, he's so sweet. He loves his mama. Anyway, we will put him down and see what kind of terror he can go get into now. So the next product is from Natasha Denona. This is the Mini Blush and Glow. It is what I have on my cheeks today for my glow and my blush. The blush does have a little bit of a glow in it. It is a bright pink color. I really like this one. Um, both of the products feel really creamy when you dip your finger into them. And they're just, they're very, very pretty. And again, I just love getting the little mini size. Throw it in your purse or or, you know, something to try out that you don't have to invest a huge amount in. So I really love this one. All right, let's just kind of stay on the mini train right here. Um, in the little mascara wardrobe or lash stash that I showed in my video right before this, there was the this Ilia mascara. I am in love with this stuff. And the reason is, is because I can put on my other mascaras for volume that I really love for volume. But if I go in afterwards with this mascara from Ilia, I don't know if it's the wand. The wand is kind of cool. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. But it's flat on one side. And then the bristles aren't the natural brush, brush, blip, brush bristles that was hard to say that's actually the little plastic bristles which i like but going in and just kind of tipping my lashes the tips of my lashes with this and brushing it out oh my gosh it gives good length and i just i really like it now i have used it on its own and it still gives that phenomenal length but it doesn't build up into volume so this isn't like an all in one mascara for me i usually use a different one with this one but what i have on today i actually will show you i I have on the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. Um, this one I love too. This one gives phenomenal volume. This does have the regular bristle brush on it and it gives the most gorgeous volume in my eyelashes. I will say that this one did clump a little bit faster than I would have liked it to, but I have a feeling that I got an older tube because I got this in a surprise box from Charlotte Tilbury when she was doing those in the summer. So they kind of clean out their inventory a little bit when they do that. So I just put a couple of drops in it of saline solution and it comes right back to life. So I'm wearing both of these today, the Ilia and the Charlotte Tilbury. So if you can see my lashes, I'm not sure if you can, but if you can see my lashes, they like almost touch my eyebrows. My lashes are my favorite thing because of my lash serum that I use that I'll make sure that I link below for you guys. I have it in every video in the description box because I'm just sold on it. But these two are really good mascaras if you've been looking for mascaras and if you love to try high end, these are great. Let's talk another mini. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is her Pro Filter Primer. I love this primer. It feels hydrating and it feels like it does its job of pore filling. And I love the feel of this. This sinks into the skin. It blurs my pores. It's just one of those primers that I feel like does the job. It lays down so beautiful under makeup and minimizes my pores and still doesn't rob my skin of its moisture. And I love that about it. Let's talk minis a little bit more. This one right here is from KLE, which is a Huda Beauty company. This is their fragrance part of the company. And I have this and then I have the roller ball. Actually, I, I ordered from Huda and I got this and then I got this one off of Sephora. These fragrances are not like anything that I have had before in fragrance. First of all, they are so long lasting. So I feel like these little ones, these little minis are gonna last me for a long time. And the notes in them are such that you can layer different ones of these on top of each other. Like this one is the citrus and then there's a musk and then there is the vanilla. And you can layer these and they don't compete with each other, they complement each other. And the other thing that I have been doing, like if I, this is a citrus one, and if I have a perfume that doesn't last all day, I'll put this one on first and then I'll spray that other one on and it helps it to just be enhanced and I love that about it. There is a four pack of these that I have been eyeballing forever that I'm gonna pick up this time, but I love this fragrance and this is on the website too. They have the, the bigger ones, they're a little bit 
pricey, obviously, but man, this stuff is good stuff. And I just think Huda really knocked it out of the park on these fragrances. So I actually do love those. The other mini that I have is from Carolina Herrera. I'm looking on my phone right here. There is a duo that they have right now. One, so it has the darker color, but it's the mini size that comes with this one. So you'd be getting two of this size, but the darker one and then this one, I think it's so cute. I love the packaging anyway, but this fragrance to me is just really, really, really a good one. To me, it is a fresh floral fragrance. So it still has a lot of vanilla, a lot of musk, but it definitely has that fresh scent to it as well. And that's what the Carolina Herrera one is too. So I thought those minis were so dang cute. Now, while we're talking about minis, let's talk about those fragrance kits. You get those fragrance kits and each of them has all different kinds in there of what you can choose from. You can redeem a coupon that is inside of those fragrance kits for a full size of one of the fragrances that's in there. And that's actually how I got this one from Carolina Herrera is I had that in one of those sampler boxes and I just redeemed it. And I think it's just a great value, especially when you can get that on the VIB sale like it is now. I just think that's great. And then Sol de Janeiro, fabulous scent. You feel like you're on the beach, you have tanning oil on, just absolutely fantastic. I usually pick up one of these every single sale because it is a little bit more pricey, $45 for this size, but right now they have their great sets. They have all of these sets that have different things in them like the body wash and the perfume and the fragrance. And I love that Crush, the Brazilian Crush uh, spray body mist. I put it in my hair and it lasts in my hair and I love that stuff. So I'm going to be picking up one of the sets, but I'm going to show you several up here and I'll make sure I list all of those down below. But this but is something that I use all the time. I love this stuff. It's highly moisturizing. The fragrance just kind of transports you and makes you feel so good as you're using it. It's very emollient and it's just one of those creams. It's like a body souffle, a body butter. So definitely going to be picking up one of those sets. I have just a few hair care items. I don't have many, but these are hair care items that I really love. The first one is from Away. I think that's how you say it. Away. <laughs> I'm not sure. This is my leave-in conditioner. You can tell that I'm almost out. If I don't have It's a 10 on my hair, I have this one. I spray this in my hand, rub it through, and just use it on the ends to help protect the ends from any heat styling that I do when I curl my hair. I love this stuff. It is really good and it's light. I have very fine, limp hair, and so it doesn't really weigh my hair down. I really do like this one. And then from Alterna is the Caviar Anti-Aging Multiplying Volume Styling Mist. And this is really good for fine hair. It's it does definitely give you a great amount of volume in your hair. I really enjoyed this. I've only had this for a few months, but I've used it like crazy. I barely made a dent in it, but I spray this across my hand as well instead of just spraying it into the hair. That's when I get into trouble with my limp hair. Rub it into my hands and just lightly work it through all of my hair staying away from the very roots where I need a little bit of lift because I obviously don't want to weigh anything down there, but this has a light hold in it. So when you do dry your hair, you're going to feel that light hold in it, but you're going to feel all that body. And I, I love this stuff. It's really great. Now, one of my tried and trues is the triple sec from dry bar. This, this is the three in one. It texturizes, it volumizes and it refreshes. And I use this one all the time. I love this stuff. I'm almost out. So I probably will be picking up one this time. I love it. It smells so good. It gives me such pretty volume and I just, I love it. I will be purchasing another one of those. Don't want to run out of those. Now I want to round this video out with my recommendations for palettes. And these palettes are fairly new palettes on the market, but they're palettes that I really have been enjoying. This one is the Sweet Violet from Violet Voss. It's a mini palette, but this one has such great violets in it. She has a bunch. Obviously I pick up Violet because that's what I'm drawn to, but she has a, di a bunch of different ones in these mini sizes. And I think it's a really good way to be able to try her shadows. I really think they're gorgeous shadows and I have really enjoyed working with them myself. And there is a couple of little swatches for you on that one. So that one is really pretty. And then from Huda, I have the purple haze and the khaki haze. So these are the hate 
Hayes Obsession or Obsession. I think it's Hayes Obsession. Anyway, I'm going to swatch these for you too. I got these quite a while ago and I have shown them before. I love this khaki one. It has such unique colors in it. This one over here is a deepened brown, but it has almost a rosy undertone to it or a reddish undertone to it. I think it's so pretty. I do really like her shadows as well. They have beautiful undertones to them. These nine pans haven't been drawing me in before, but I really have been enjoying having Having those that one is the khaki one and then this one is the purple one and I'll go ahead and I will swatch that one a little bit for you as well you know what I like about these is that you don't necessarily just get just purple you get all these different colors that work so well together and I think that they're just so pretty so there's the two palettes together but the purple one is on the bottom here and I just think I just think they're gorgeous and I've really been drawn to those lastly I want to tell you about this Natasha Denona palette you guys I have never bought Natasha Denona before because it is really really pricey but I took the leap and I wanted to get this glam palette because it just looked so pretty this is what I have on my eyes today I have this color across my lid I have this color mixed with this color right here as a transition and then I deepened it up with these browns right Right here but these mattes are phenomenal i have never had any of these before there are so many different reviews on this palette that i'm not going to take the time to really uh, review too much but it is a great quality i probably will go ahead and buy it another one of these $65 ones because I don't feel like that is going to kill me. But you know, the $129 ones, I haven't quite worked myself up to that yet. But this is a gorgeous palette. I love all of the colors in here. They are perfect for you if you are neutral to cool toned. This is a gorgeous palette for that. And it's named the Glam Palette. You can see with these metallics in there how it could just be done so pretty especially if you have you know a party to go to or something like that a date night something like that the, it just lights up your eyes. It's really, really beautiful. So I can suggest that one as well. That is it for my suggestions. Yes. A lot of these are things that I've had and I have suggested in VIB sale recommendations videos for years. So know that these aren't things necessarily that I have just come up with and decided I'm going to just throw out there for you guys. You guys know I don't do that anyway. I really love every single thing that I showed you today. So I hope that you did too. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here and make sure that you tell me if there's anything specific in the sale that either I need to pick up or that you're going to pick up and try that you're excited about or that is your tried and true that I didn't talk about today. Thank you again so much for being a part of my channel and watching today. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I will catch you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.